Christensen was arrested on Friday, and it was the day before that. The Zong family is still so full of hope as I spoke with them that day that the university here had organized this walk through campus for members of the community to show their support for Ying Ying Zong and her family. And we have now confirmed with the University of Illinois that that is, in fact, Brent Christensen, your suspect in this kidnapping in the top right hand corner of that photo. I had taken that photo as folks were congregating on the steps of the Performing Arts Center here just before that walk began. Really startling to see him and have his identity confirmed at that walk in her honor. We know that police say they believe she is dead. This is apparently based in part on, on this audio, what he said in this, this recording, um, but they won't elaborate. Kaylee, do you know what, what more do you know about that? Well, let's, let's start at the beginning of the evidence here against your suspect, Brent Christensen. Brooke, the last sighting of Ying Ying Zhang on June 9th, she was seen getting into a car that police say Christensen was driving that day and that he owns. When they then searched his phone, they found the records, as you mentioned, of the abduction 101 site and the kidnapping fantasy site. Um, and then on that same day that he attended the walk in her honor, he was already under surveillance. He had been for about two weeks, and that's when authorities captured him in audio recording, telling someone, we don't know who, how he kidnapped her, that he then brought her back to his apartment and held her against her will. That is all the evidence authorities are currently willing to share with us, Brooke, but authorities say they have additional evidence that leads them to believe that Ying Ying Zhang is no longer alive. I still can't believe you caught him in that photo. Kaylee, thank you so much.